I'm going to take a look at another one of the cooler guns I've seen in a while. I almost missed this one too, but somebody mentioned it, so I figured I'd uh, show it off in a video. First off, we're opening up, you know, paperback look looking leather thing. Open it up, okay. We've got an old Walther with PP. And we've got a couple of boxes for, or places for a box of ammo. But then I saw this and I was wondering, what are there pellets in there for? So you open it up, it's all in German. Maybe somebody can tell us what this says in German. Try to hold it up here. So when you open this thing up though, it's not little blanks, it's little projectiles. If I can get one out of here. A little tiny bullet type of thing, rimfire I guess. So you've got that little bullet. And there's a hundred of them in this little tin. So you've got your the round that this PP is chambered for. And then you've got these little tiny projectiles. What's going on with that? So let's dig in a little deeper. We'll pull the pistol out. There's its magazine. No hold up on this, so let's double check that it's empty. Decocker. And it's a PPKL. PPK 765mm. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Kind of a neat container. Maybe homemade, I'm not sure. Then we get to the lid here. Then we've got a little cleaning rod. Okay, got a magazine. Alright. Then we got this little zipper pouch. Let's open that up. And at first I thought there was a little cleaning kit or something with pieces missing. But on closer examination, we've got a barrel insert that looks promising. We've got some little dummy rounds with a hole in them. So that looks kind of promising. And then we've got this tool I'm imagining for clearing malfunctions or something. So now we'll uh, scoot it back up here. We've got the barrel insert. So now we've got this little crazy projectile that's smaller than a 22. We're putting it into the back of this little dummy project, little dummy round. And it, the dummy round, of course, has this hole in it. Of course, now I've got to pull this out. Um, the dummy round has the hole in it. Right? So now that becomes the chamber for this little tiny round or whatever it is. And now we take that barrel insert into the... Uh, pull that trigger guard down and now uh, to, so we've disassembled the slide off of there and now we can unscrew this little nut off the front there take off this little washer and now it's smooth and now it'll fit down the chamber and become a barrel it will, I'm assuming, stick out the front just a bit. Use a bullet as a tool there. So now it's sort of stuck out the front just a hair. We put back on that washer and a little barrel nut. And then that's going to pull the that barrel all the way forward. And you can see now it's pulling that barrel this way, so now it's in there well. Now I'm going to unload it here. I'm going to take that projectile back out of the dummy round. But now we can see that this dummy round is going to insert and create a connection. You know, if we can see through the barrel here, it's going to connect, create a clear connection. And now we've got a smaller diameter barrel here that these tiny projectiles can shoot from. So it's uh, not quite a 22 conversion, but it's a wish I could read German. A 4 millimeter conversion. It's 4mm is the only thing I can make out on there. Very cool little uh, caliber conversion for the uh, Walther PPK. Never even knew they existed. I'm going to try like the Dickens to get out and be able to shoot one of these. But uh, really curious to see what they're like. So we'll go ahead and take it all back apart here. Pull that washer off. The barrel slide will come out.
and we can put the spring back on, reassemble the slide, bring the slide back on, back assembled again, bring that trigger guard back up. This is a really nice PPK, the aluminum frame, worth quite a bit on its own. Of course, with this uh, caliber conversion kit, it's going to be worth even more. So, pretty nice little kit. Glad we had a chance to take a look at it. Like I say, you don't get to see something like this every day. So this is the full-size auto. This is the tiny little projectile. And this is that insert. Pretty neat. You can see where it's going to connect with its barrel insert and create that smaller diameter barrel for the small projectile. Neat stuff. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.